Hi, this is Paul Evans. Welcome to the fourth video in this Make Money Online series. In this video, we're going to actually go and register our domain and get our hosting. So let's go do that. Here we are at HostGator to get our domain name and our web hosting. So view hosting plans and the link to HostGator is right under this video on the site. And in full disclosure, if you order through this link, I will make a small commission on that. But, you know, for the cost of all of these free videos, if you choose to get your hosting with HostGator, certainly me getting a couple of dollars for that should be no big deal whatsoever. All right, so view hosting plans. You've got several options here. The hatchling plan, the baby plan, the business plan. Now, what I recommend is going with the baby plan. Unlimited domains, unlimited disk space, and unlimited bandwidth. The reason that I don't do the hatchling plan is because you don't have unlimited domains. You can only have a single domain. Because in the future, as you decide to do more websites, you want to be able to add those on to the same hosting platform instead of having to go through this process every single time. So we're going to do this where it says starting at $6.36 a month, and that is, I believe, if you order three years up front. But what I'm going to do is go monthly, and that's $7.96, so that's not any big deal. And if you wanted to pay up front, it would not be a problem whatsoever. So we're going to click Order Now. Help me register a new do domain name or use an existing domain name. Since this is the first website, we are going to register a new domain name and remember, we decided on in the last video, over 40 weight loss plan. So over 40 weight loss plan.com. Now they inserted a coupon in here automatically so that I would get a little bit of a discount. Hopefully that's still active. So I click continue to step two. And now I'm on baby package, one month, 796, 20% off. I now choose a username and a security pin. So my username is going to be over 40 oh must be 2 to 8 so I'm gonna go over 40 and let that be it hopefully that is available they'll let me know if it's not and then my security pin may only contain numbers And I'll go ahead and fill all of this out on this page. And then I'm going to select PayPal as my payment system. And then I will be uh, clicking Create Account. So I'll fill that in, and then I'll see you on the next page. Okay, once I created that account, it says Important Message. We accept PayPal Secure Method. You can subscribe to our services by clicking Subscribe below. Or you can make a one-time payment by clicking Pay Now. Now, let me tell you this, if you select pay now and you're on monthly, then next month you'll have to do it again manually and you could end up getting your site taken offline if you don't keep up with that. So I like to use the subscribe button to make sure that I'm paying each and every month. Of course, if you decided to pay a year, two year, or three years up front, which is really awesome, works out real well, then just click pay now. If not, click subscribe. And then below, you see a lot of different offers here. And I usually just ignore all of those. And I'm going to click subscribe and move to the next screen. Now notice here with the web uh, HostGator web hosting, $22.96 for the first month, then $9.95 for each additional month. You know, when they're giving you that price at the very beginning, they're showing you the on average monthly cost for a long term site so when they know that you're going month to month like we selected in this process they consider that a little bit more of a risk so they charge you a setup fee that uh, you can get out if you can locate some uh, different coupons but i'm going to go ahead with this because honestly to me that setup fee and then the monthly charge 995 is really not bad at all when you're talking about a web business right and this also includes another reason this is a little bit higher is that it includes our domain name if we'd not included our domain name it would have been a little less expensive but again we'd have to pay that price somewhere else 
and then we'd have to link it together manually. So I'm going to enter my email and my password, and then I will click log on to make this purchase. All right, so now it shows us uh, this amount, and I can click agree and pay. Your purchase was successful. Now I can click PayPal account overview or return to HostGator. We'll go ahead and return back to HostGator. Thank you for enrolling your card to be billed in your local currency. And that's it. And so that is it for setting up our hosting. The next step is to go and check our uh, email to make sure that we've received the message about our account being set up. All right, here we are. And it shows that our account has been set up. Your control panel is here. Username is over 40, password, first name server, second name server, server IP, etc. And so that's it. We've got our account set up. We've got our domain secured. And in the next video, we're going to go into the control panel. We'll take a tour of that. And then we'll be actually setting up our website. How cool. All right. I'll see you in the next video.